Hello, today I would like to show you the best cheap upgrade that you can make for your Goal Zero Sherpa 100 AC to double or triple capacity of this unit to make it run much much longer when you need it and first of all I'm very happy with this unit I never regret spending money on it but it have one big problem the the absolutely biggest problem with this unit is the 100 watt hour built-in battery in my personal opinion that is not enough this is not enough for all the great feature it's got you've got the AC you've got the G charger you've got two USB ports you've got a USB-C PD ports all of this makes this a great unit if there is a power outage I was using that I plug here a desk lamp I plug my computer I plug my phone all the devices all electronics I want to have a top-up charge and I had tears in my eyes seeing how quickly the percent of the battery goes down because you've got a power outage you're working on your uh, on your computer on the battery and then you plug it in and you are recharging the battery in your computer so you pulling the max possible current from the USB C PD port so it's draining it really really quickly and this is the problem this is the problem and I was looking for a solution and this is a fault of uh, Go Zero because they could make exactly the same size unit they could stuff inside only battery they could put uh, four connectors here and you can just add uh, extra battery if you need more more capacity that way it can be still compliant with the aviation and when you need to use it as a backup battery you could stack that and and reuse but they didn't do that there is a no interface for using the built-in battery the old gold zero sherpa 50 that one that have a side inverter that you can detach or attach there was a barrel connector on the side and I believe it was directly connected to the battery and they were selling a short chaining cable so you can stack two of them to have a greater capacity and that was a great idea why then they didn't make it here I've got no idea but yeah so so my first solution was buy a second one but that was not the option because of the price then I was starting looking at different brands and I saw that we've got 165 watt hour so 65 watt hour and carrying second device was also not an option and then you've got large device like a Jackery from Honda and that was a beefy device so what can we do about that and I found the best solution and the best solution is to utilize the USB CPD port and buy yourself a cheap USB CPD power bank. This is the cheapest I found in the ratio of uh, capacity and the output power because this device can product a 65 watt on the USB CPD port and we've got over 100 watt hour capacity it have more power than the goal zero itself of course the DC to DC conversion we all know that that's going to be uh, less than 100 watt hour but by having this unit you can double the the capacity of the goal zero so what's my 
routine. My routine is that I, I'm mostly using this in the power outage, so I'm, I'm primarily using the AC as I can distribute this around the house. You can have like a 20 meter cable on the AC side and this is absolutely not a problem when the DCU would have uh, that long of cable will make a lot of loss in the power but okay that's not for today and so my primary use is the inverter and if I want to extend this battery to have 200 watt hour I just grab this cable that was included I plug it here, I connect it here, and that's all. I can turn the inverter, and as you can see, we've got power going in and power going out. The free watt is going, is lost by the work of the inverter. But if I plug a 100 watt bulb here, then the drill is going to be that this 65 watt is going to be used first from this power bank and if not if if we are going to have a higher demand so we are going to get that that not enough not enough power we are draining 100 watt we are getting uh, 60 watt so the 40 watt is going to be taken from the internal battery and the discharge is going to be extended. In other case, when we are going to grab like a 50 watt from the AC or those ports or the Qi charger, then this device is going to be discharging and the battery internal is going to be always 100%. And if I need more, then I can grab another 100 watt our unit and I can plug to the second port but for today I've got it configured so the first port is always input so anything I plug is going to be charging the built-in battery and the another port I've got exactly opposite it's going to be always recharging anything that I plug here so this one is configured as uh, input, that one is always output. And we are going to the another thing. Then if you would like to take it outside, you would like to hook up a solar panel, for example, and you would like to recharge the power bank, then in my case, this is just a way of swapping the port. And now it's going to be, as you can see, now the power is going in the opposite way and we are recharging this power bank. So this is absolutely the cheapest and the best upgrade that you can do and you can scale it up to that, one, that 300 watt hour with two USB-C power banks to just swap in setting both as a input and that's all. And that's all. You, you can pull a 300 watt hour from the AC socket and discharge flat all of them. So this is my the cheapest, the best upgrade that I 100% recommend you. You just swap it around and now this is recharging that and we can pull, pull it first and rest. So yeah, this is the best cheapest upgrade to extend your go zero capacity thank you very much for watching hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye